Ike taking a huge beating if uh, Lucas finds the right hit confirm here. Yeah. Like, right here. Oh, I like the use of the Battlefield platform for the grab reset. Ooh. Oh, good DI by ProBeans it looked like to escape yeah. that. Yeah. He ended up getting a really good dare. ProBeans misses his grab but gets a down tilt. And this is what I'm talking about. When he gets you in a certain situation. Outranges Ooh. the up smash with the grab. Really I, incredible right That there. is scary. Yeah, he's just, he, right now he's relying on the fact that he can outrange all of Ike's grounded buttons purely with his grab. Yeah. And if Pro Beans, he's been misspacing some of these aerials, he's getting punished really hard by getting grabbed and then a free aerial punish. Ooh, and he does not charge that Aether. Forward air, still a lot of control. I feel like Lucas just gives you so many opportunities to get control of the stage, and when you have a tether grab, anything misspaced is immediately punished. And he can he can just cover so many landing options with that tether grab too. He can outspace so many landing aerials and yeah. then kill you for it. And once oh. again, he's catching crow beans being a little bit too eager to get in and gets another grab for it. It's gonna be another one into the up air. And Ike ends up eating a death right now. Iron Gonzalez playing amazing. Yeah, Pro Beans, uh, for viewers who don't know, he was on the PR for, I think, about three seasons. Yeah. Very, very solid player. Oh, what a pivot grab. Almost getting that up air, but a slick oh. dodge into an up smash, so though. The reason that worked is up smash has like four frames of invincibility right yeah. at the beginning. So you saw Ike do his up tilt and then immediately got up smash out of it. It was because perfect timing, got the invincibility, and killed Pro Beans for it. Yeah. That is character awareness at its best right now. PK Fire just taking the floor, leaving Pro Beans unable to do much. He tries to jump in, gets nared and fared for it. A lot of percent taken just for trying to get in on your opponent. <clears throat> Pro Beans, though, this is where he shines. One read could change it all. An easy there. You have to ha also have a lot of quick moves to deal with the fact that Lucas can come in with an aerial to try and defend himself. Uh, oh, missed grab. I, I think he auto-canceled that bear knowing that uh, Iron Vasquez was punishing consistently. I mean, Gonzalez was punishing consistently with oh. grab so he could spot dodge it. But he still gets oh caught off with that edge guard God. with an up air to catch the quick draw. And he ended up having to use quick draw because he did not have a jump left over and he did not want to air dodge into the platform. Oh, no, that would that would be awful. And then his other op his last option was what? Trying to ether on and then being punished while spinning? Like Probably. Yeah, so no, and no good options there. He was in a very tough spot and... Iron Gonzalez showing the world, after, of course, seeing Crispy Tacos as well, that Lucas is a matchup you need to learn. Otherwise, you you could be in a lot of trouble. Oh, man. Two, one, go! Opting for a Smashville pick. I think that I tend to see players pick Smashville if it's a matchup that, like, they don't quite know what they need to leverage to win. So, like, they're picking the most neutral ground so that, like, okay, this is my comfort place. Everybody loves Smashville. So everybody tries to pick it. Now, it's also looking like ProBeans is having a hard time because his dash grab does not go very far. Like, he has the opportunity to go for grabs, but he has to space himself to where he doesn't get grabbed by Lucas, but then has an opportunity to dash grab, which he just can't do. Yeah. Character just does not allow it. It's it's more about the uh, like the tomahawk mix-up game, where you're jumping in front of them and intimidating them into shielding, yeah. and that's where you get their grabs, as opposed to, oh, Ooh. great catch with the eruption. And that ends up catching the air dodge into the ground with that up tilt. What a wonderful frame trap. Oh, goes for the down air, tries to follow up with that nair, not quick enough. Good shield work from Pro Beans. Tried to, to mix up, catch maybe a back roll off Iron Gonzalez, didn't find anything. Yeah. I think that a lot of this matchup comes down to pushing Lucas into that corner and then waiting to see what he's going to do to get out of it because he doesn't have all that many options that aren't attack based. Mm -hmm. You walk up to him to where, like, okay, if he's gonna, if he dashes forward, you know that he's gonna dash forward and grab. Yeah. So you can react to that, you can be prepared. And then on the other side, of course, you have a situation where they're gonna come up with an aerial. You jump back, you use a fair or a nair from Ike, you have a punch opportunity. Yeah, right there. Came up with an aerial. Probeans wasn't expecting it, though. Ooh, fair to the head. Still not enough to kill the champion. The man who fights for his friends. <laughs> oh, got that no lag landing. Oh, good response by uh, Iron Gonzalez to jump up and do an air. Stop the mix-up at the source. 
Oh, tried to go for a pivot grab for a little bit of a mix-up, but ends up getting upthrown for his troubles. And the good thing for Lucas is that even if someone comes up from behind you, you can nair backwards. It, there's, there's a lot of coverage for out of shield. Yeah. Pro Beans does have the percent lead, but right now Iron Gonzalez is putting on the pressure and getting a lot of free damage. I like the Zare into grab, but didn't look like it was guaranteed. What an what up smash! What a good up smash right there. Being able to, to figure out how your opponent is playing and how Lucas likes to be on the offensive, mm -hmm. and that's how he covers himself. He's like, hey, he's going to come down with an attack, and if I up smash, that's going to cover what's next to me and what's coming from above me. Yeah. Uh, one thing I want to also point out is Probeans made some really great adaptions there. Like game one, we saw him, he got grabbed like five times in a row at one point, right? He just kept running into that tether grab. Yeah. And then this past game, he dodged like half of them. He's like, he instantly knew those same moments where the tether rope was coming out and spot dodge and got his own punish in. That's one of those things that as a player, it's always recommended. People often say, you have to look at your games and go, when did I get hit? Yeah. Why was I getting punished? And if you can even focus on one thing, like, okay, I got grabbed a lot for doing this, yeah. that's how it can change a game from being a losing game to a winning one. Yeah. All right, we are on Dreamland. Good stage for both of them, yeah. realistically. Honestly, both characters love this stage. Yeah. You got those tilts through the platform. Just so much platform coverage with Ike's huge oh. sword. See, Pro oh, is putting him I in the corner. I love this, yeah. Good patience by Gonzalez, though, backing off. Go for those well-spaced aerials. Just keep boxing out your opponent with the range that you have. Yeah, right now Probeans doing a great job of now running up to uh, Iron Gonzalez and then stopping and jumping right outside of his range to bait out that out of shield option. Oh, great grab right there. Iron Gonzalez trying to give himself a little bit of time to figure out what to do. PK Fire gives him what he Ooh. needs to get back onto the stage. Back here for a little bit more damage, but these grabs have been completely one-sided. Yeah, look, like, like Gonzalez maybe landed one grab so far. Yeah. Like, this is such such good avoidance now compared to game one. You would not believe this is the same set. The amount of adaptation oh. that's happening. <gasps> he got the last pixel that could be grabbed, and I like now that Pro Beans is mixing up his double jump so that he will not fall into a grab that Iron Gonzalez is looking for. Mm -hmm. This is what we call downloading your opponent right here. Oh, great read of the jump get up. He's just reading Gonzalez so well at this point. Finally gets caught by a grab. Oh, and that angle is just too much for yeah. Pro Beans to deal with. Really solid job of working that ledge. I mean, Pro Beans is good at putting you in the corner and boxing you out, but Lucas, if you end up messing up that opportunity, he has so many more tools. Mm -hmm. If he gets you in that that space where you made a mistake and you're getting nared across the stage, almost got the that back hair spike. That was scary, yeah. Very close to death right there. Let's see if Iron Gonzalez can get back on the ground here. Tether really helping him out. Pro Beans has been trying to sneak in these short hop back airs. But he's getting caught in the air now with the responsive aerials. Yeah, I'd like to see him maybe go back to that uh, short hop forward air method he was using earlier. Yeah. Yeah, right now, though, I think Gonzalez right now actually has picked up a little bit of patience with his shield game. Because yeah. earlier he was doing his uh, reactions, like uh, his punishes. Grab oh. goes into the down air. Oh, okay. That is scary. Right now, actually, last hit for both players. Yeah. One grab, and it could be it for Pro Beans. He goes with a solid fair, but he needs to get this hit. He oh. needs to push. Pro Beans off stage. Iron Gonzalez. Ooh. Oh, great power shield. Iron Gonzalez needs a grab, but he also does have R raw up air. Getting caught for that throw. He knew he was so thirsty for that throw. Yeah. Just immediately the moment he landed, he jumped. He knew he was like, okay, here comes the throw. Back air to cut off.